Hey friends, this is Brandon from This Is Tech Today, and here are my top advanced tips for the new Google Pixel and Pixel 2 XL. So I'll admit, if you're already an advanced Android user, this may not be super advanced for you, but if you're switching over from an iPhone or using your first Android device, this can be really cool. Okay, so this first one is about the navigation bar. If you swipe down from the top, and you see this little gear icon up at the top, right next to that down carrot, if you hold it down, just keep holding it, it'll spin and unlock some features when you let go. So, the UI tuner is now enabled. So, what is the UI tuner? Let me show you. Whenever you go to the settings, you can go down to system, and then you'll see the system UI tuner there. Go ahead and click on it at the bottom. It says, fun for some, but not for all. So keep in mind you're fiddling around a little bit, and that's the benefit of Android, is you have options. So let's click on it. So, the main thing is really about status bar. We click on status bar we, there's a few things that we can get rid of so i don't really want to have the whole casting information there i don't need to see work profile so there's a lot of different things that you can do with this but my favorite part is actually this one at the bottom the time so go ahead and click on it and then you can have it show hours minutes and seconds so you see that at the top right corner it's awesome so tip number two is simply just being able to use two fingers from the top menu and swiping down and it'll bring up all of your quick functions if you use one finger it'll just bring down your notifications. Two fingers, everything else. Tip number three has to do with your display settings. So if you have noticed, my icons and my text are a little bit smaller than the default. If you go into those settings, the little gear icon, go ahead and click on display, and click on advanced. So down here, you'll see the font size and the display size. So if you click on display size, uh, you can change it to a smaller smaller size. So keep in mind I'm screen sharing and recording this so it's going a little bit slower and it's just an intensive thing. This is the only time I've ever seen lag on the phone. But you can change it to what works for you. So if you have a parent uh, or a grandparent that needs things a little bit bigger you can do it there if you want or you can make it super small like mine. The other part is with the text. So if you go back to the previous page and you change the font size that is an option as well. So it gives a little sample text there. Here's what the default looks like. Okay the next tip is really cool. So I always do this on every single Android device that I, I get. So go into your settings again, go all the way down to the bottom, click on system, and click on about phone, and then click on the build number. Click on it a few times actually, until it asks you to type in your PIN, and then it says you're now a developer. Go back one page, and click on developer options. So there's a lot of things that you can do in here, but I wouldn't mess with it too much other than under the drawing section. You can change the animation scales. So right now, when the windows come up or they fade away or close, it's going at 1x. But if you change it to 0.5x, your phone will feel super snappy. Do you see that? It's crazy. So let's go back to 1x just so you can see what it looks like. Yeah, so it looks good, but man, when you have it at 0.5, it's crazy. Let's go back to 0.5, and there you go. All right, this next tip is really cool. It has to do with the menu switching. So say you have your Google Keep up and you have your calculator up. If you just double click on the menu, the square button in the bottom right corner, it'll just move to the next window super fast. So that's a quick change option. Now, another thing, if you hold down the square, it'll bring up split screen. And you can actually change how big certain apps are. And they still work. Super sweet. And then if you wanted to get out of it, you just hold down the split screen and it'll go back to the top one. Now say you give your phone to someone else and you just want them to use it for a phone call or maybe you have kids and you want them to play a game but not mess around with anything else on your device. If you just click on the square button and then move your app up, see that little pin in the bottom right corner of the app? If you hit that, it'll pin it. And it keeps them in the app. They can't get out of it unless they hold both the back button and then the menu button at the same time. So I'm hitting the home button, it's not working. But if I hold both of these side buttons, it unpins it. There you go. So I have one more, and it's just a bonus. And it's not exclusive to your Pixel device, but any Android device that's using Chrome. If you just click on the menu bar and slide down, it brings you into your overview. And maybe you accidentally did that. You can just swipe back up, and it goes back to the same window that you're in. Well, I hope you enjoy your brand new Pixel 2. 
and Pixel 2 XL. If you have any other tips that you'd like to share with someone else, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And if you have any questions for me, feel free to ask. I'm trying to answer as many as I can. I'd love to help you guys out. If you found this video helpful, please help me out and give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, I'd love to hear why you changed over from iPhone to an Android device, if that's something you've done. What are your impressions of the Pixel 2? If you're getting the Pixel 2 or 2 XL, I'd love to hear the reason why. Thanks again for watching This Is Tech Today. Until next time.